my god, your eyes are so pretty. Thank you, I appreciate you. Wait, how old are you? <laughs> I'm 22. Why are you in the dark, love? What's going on? You ain't got no boyfriends? It's complicated. What's so complicated about it? Hold on, bro. <laughs> Something looking suspicious. The last time I seen this dude, he almost got caught up in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. If this is what's about to happen again, I think you need to change your content, bro. Because Megatron is going to find his way to your apartment. You keep playing games. So I have a man that actually asked me to marry him. Gave me a whole engagement ring. But he for the streets. So I got you down I don't know how many times. He must got you dramatized or something. Listen, I got the same dramatism power. Just come to New York. This ain't no way. Ain't no way for me to love you if you want. Come to New York. Let me nice take you to some suspicious time. activities going on, boy. <laughs> I got that good that'll make you fall out of love with him. You know how to climb trees? I love climbing trees. I'm expert. So them branches, are they strong? They very strong. This is not going to happen. I'm going to tell you why. You're going to be like, oh. Bye, and you're gonna skip me. No, I'm not. Because I'm not normal. I'm not regular. What you mean you're not regular? I don't like talking about this because it's like, it's not something that I don't have to tell anybody. You know, L, G, B, M, T. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah. You trans? Yeah. Like, you a. Yeah. This ain't the first time I've seen this man almost get caught up in some Decepticon business. Megatron gonna find his way to your crib. You keep playing them games. <laughs> keep playing with fire. You gonna get burnt. I'm scared of these women. My damn self. I just was driving my car and I see some girl putting all this construction behind a truck. Now, I really get it, ladies, that we can do everything a man do. But, god damn, I'm not made for that. So... I just want to tell the men, please don't put me in the category with the women that think they can do everything and tell them they don't need a man because I ref I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't, I'm tired of putting air, guy, I'm gas, everything. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of driving. I miss being a passenger seat princess. So please separate me and don't don't put me in a category with the girls that think they can do everything. They're going to live their life being a man. And I don't want to do that. I want to live my purpose. And I was born a woman, so I want to be just that. Separate me from these motherfuckers. I don't want to be no man. I want a man. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, I don't want no man. I don't need. I don't. I mean, I don't need a man, but I do want a man. Well, I need goddamn man. Because <laughs> it's just some things that men do that a woman just can't. You feel mm. me? Mm. Fuck that. Separate me. I don't got no problem with no self-sufficient woman, man. As long as you don't cross that line of scrimmage with me, we cool. You feel me? If you feel as though you can do it on your own. All right, try. Do it on your own. I'll give you complete freedom to do it on your own. When you do need help, come ask daddy for some help. As long as you don't act like you wear the pants in the relationship, you feel me? As long as you don't act like you got a big d than me, we cool. One time, I went and had an Uber pick me up. He was super hot. So I was like, hey, like, do you want to have sex? And he pulled over and he's like, totally, right? <laughs> what? And then he, so he sucked, right? He sucked. Oh, he was scared. So I got out of the vehicle and then I complained and was like, so I wouldn't have to pay. So then this <laughs> other Uber dri <laughs> driver pulls up and then I tell him about the experience. And I'm like, I just f***ed my last Uber driver and he was so sh You know, I had to cancel. I didn't say like some bull happened you know so i didn't have to pay <laughs> and this guy's like okay cool like well do you want to like give me a blow and i was like okay sure why not and then i give him a blow all the way from la to huntington beach it was a really oh my long God, time like an hour what yeah this a long it was a long way and then i got out of the car and he's like don't worry i won't charge you and then the mother charged me no good for your way yeah. it good for yeah. your way that was the last time i an uber driver i was like y'all I'm gonna give y'all some advice. If you having problems talking to women and you want to practice, do Uber. If you want to have stories to tell, do Uber. In the short period of time that I did Uber, countless stories. I remember one night I picked up some cougars and they were ready to go. When I said they was ready to go, they was ready to go. But I'm married. I'm married. I had to shut. <laughs> I was out there blocking them advances like Floyd. I was out there looking like Floyd, man. Nope, nope. Defense was on point. Now, I ain't going to hold you. If I wasn't committed, 
I was taking both them old heifers to Stroke City. Listen, I'm going to keep saying it. I know it's about 25,000 of you guys that watch these videos that still haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Come on now. We almost had 100K, man. We almost had 100K. And follow me on the gram. Follow me on Instagram. Man of the match, Muhammad Anas. Congratulations, Mohammed. I'm sure coming down here and making sure you walk away with something is a good achievement. But looking at the balance of play, I'm sure you could have won that game tonight. I thank you very much. And I thank Almighty God who was above. I always wish to win one of these and, and, and I got it. So thank you very much for, for, for this, for giving me this. And I appreciate my friends also, my wife and my girlfriend. It was at this moment that William knew he fucked up. Yeah, I mean, my wife. Yeah, sorry to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just sorry, my wife. Listen, I love you so much. Aya, I love you so much from my heart. Né? So, you must keep on supporting me. Eh? Well done, Mohammed. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yo, boy went on national TV and snitched on himself. It sounded like she might have gave him some nanny before he went to that game. I wonder what type of... uh violence he had to deal with when he got in that house. Yo, if we celebrate my birthday and you smash me in the face with a cake, I'll be ready to throw hands. In this particular situation, why did she hit her in the face so hard with the cake? Shorty fell down and broke the table. I'm pretty sure they had an Airbnb. It's, it seemed like it might have had some animosity behind that. I don't understand certain shit that niggas do, bro. Like, what is the point of paying money for a cake just to waste it and smash it in somebody's face? Then I've seen stories of people not picking out all the toothpicks and smashing the cake in somebody's face and now toothpicked and poke the person in the eye. Are you a virgin? Yes. And how old are you? I'm 21. Why haven't you done the deed yet? The key to a strong society is family. And so in my view, choosing my future husband is like the most important decision I'll ever make. And I'm somebody that I know my heart and I know that I fall really hard when I meet somebody. So I want to uh, retain. You know what, hold on. Let's go ahead and clap it up for this young woman for being a virgin at 21. I don't see nothing wrong with that because it's a lot of these Jezebels out here at 21. Straight serial killer activities going on. In some level of objectivity when I'm selecting a future partner. And I know that if I had sex with them, I would be completely imprinted on them. And I, instead of being like, okay, is this person, do they have the qualities that I'm looking for in a husband? Or am I just making, like, making it work instead of like seeing red flags and leaving. Is there any reason why you're dressed so modestly instead of revealing like most women tend to do when they come out to Miami? I mean, this is just my personal sense of style. I just think it's respectful to others and to my future partner um, and to myself to just cover myself up more. I know that I, you know, take care of myself. I'm pretty athletic, but I don't need to have that on display. I ain't gonna lie, my boy. The last couple of clips that have been popping up on my Instagram, you've been finding the right ones. It's so rare to see a woman that's a virgin at 21. She went out there to have fun, and she's dressed respectfully. She's not showing no cheeks. She's not showing no cleavage. She said something along the lines of, I know if I become physical with somebody, I'll be imprinted on them. That's something I believe in now, but I never paid attention to when I was younger, and I was in these streets. Every person you have sex with becomes a party. And fellas, and ladies, but I'm gonna talk to the fellas. All pussy ain't good pussy. People out here that have evil spirits following them around. And I'm a firm believer that when you lay down with these people, some of those evil spirits start following you. This morning, this physical moment involving the WNBA's most high-profile rookie raising questions. Unnecessary. Chicago's Kennedy Carter shoulder-checking the fever's Caitlin Clark, knocking her to the ground. The call initially deemed a common foul by officials. A little surprised that it's nothing more than a common foul beyond that. 
Shortly before that moment, what appears to be an exchange of words between the two on the other end of the court. Ernie Carter were drawing a little bit back and forth the last few possessions. Clark. So I had to redo my reaction to this video because the original one was kind of harsh. The way I would respond to this is by telling you guys a story. When I worked at the factory, whenever the women worked together, we used to take bets. And the bets were how long would it take before they're trying to kill each other? Because we knew that the moment you put all the women on the same line, some drama is bound to pop off. And we were always right. It don't matter how good they were doing. It could have been a situation where they might have somebody in there that's pushing the production up. I'm talking about 110, 120% a day. And they're getting all the recognition. It was still drama. For some strange reason, they wouldn't like that lady. For some strange reason, they're ready to get her off the line. Even though they're getting credit. The whole line is getting credit. But for some strange reason, they want to get her off the line. Same thing here. In my years of watching sports, knowing people that watch sports, I have never heard anybody say, yo, I gotta go home because the WNBA game is coming on tonight. You guys are finally getting the recognition that you deserve because of Caitlin Clark, and it's a problem. Y'all out there trying to hurt her. Do you understand that if she goes on injury reserve and she's no longer playing, the ratings are gonna go down, the views are gonna go down, and it's gonna go back to being normal. And normal is something that y'all have been complaining about for years. I don't get it. Stop letting your emotions and your jealousy take over and protect the bag. It's probably somebody in the WNBA that is way more talented than Caitlin Clark. It, it might be. I don't know, because I don't watch y'all games, but it might be somebody out there. If that's the case, when the camera shines on Caitlin Clark and y'all play against each other, bust her ass. All the old heads that used to play ball or all the, all the old heads that still in the league, yeah, it's a different, it's a different league. It's a different league. Shorty came in there and she's still averaging like 20, 30 points, bro. She's still going crazy. Protect the bag. If she's coming in there with all this hype and because of this hype, Y'all are liable to get paid and get more money for your family? It's a win-win for you. Stop hating.